So in this video, I wanted to kind of piggyback off of the last video about using charts and specifically the color shading on charts to find depths this time of year the crop you're going to be holding on to. Um, today I'm actually on a lake instead of the river. Last time I showed you on the river system kind of how I was finding them. Found that boat, which is pretty cool. Um, today I'm going to be using both side imaging and my charts to find these crappies suspended on that hard to soft bottom transition. And if I can find any pieces of cover, um, this lake does have cribs on it. So if I can find pieces of cover in that 20, 22, 23 foot range, um, maybe a little shallow, maybe a little bit deeper. Um, but if I can find pieces of cover, crappie are probably going to hold to that. And otherwise there could just be schools roaming in open water. So let's record the live scope screen or the, not the live scope, side imaging for you. And I've already used my charts. I've sorted the, uh, the contours by 18 to 23 feet. So I'm only kind of idling over those contours right now. And uh, as you can see right now, this is soft bottom. Everything you see on my screen right here, it's that darker gold color, that's soft bottom. It's this silt mud. Um, a lot of our natural lakes up north have this type of bottom. It's this basin area. Crappie are gonna be out here probably towards the end of December. Um, definitely well into ice fishing season, but this time of year, it's late October, getting into November. They're not gonna be here. They're gonna be set up on that transition area. By the way, this video is sponsored by Crappie Monster. Go to crappiemonster.com, use promo code DAVIS. That's capital D-A-V-I-S, all caps, get 20% off the entire website. Today we're gonna to be targeting, today we're gonna be actually using the uppercut by Crappie Monster and the Crappie Monster net but we'll talk about that in a second. There is a hard to soft bottom transition. Now this is actually pretty, uh, pretty bright. You know, typically it's more of a sand to, to mud mix. This is actually like gravel and some bigger rock chunks going directly into that mud. That is a very distinct line. And if you can find any type of cover, I actually have a couple things marked here. So here's a, looks like a crib pile right there. It's a big shadow area. And there's a couple more cribs stacked out here. And it looks like there are some fish. See all these bright spots above the crib? Those little bright markers. Now I'm in about 23 feet. So these crappie are probably not gonna look very big. And the crappie in this lake aren't that big. They're only gonna be like eight to 10 inches. But there are a ton of fish stacked up over the top of these deeper cribs that's transitioning onto that soft bottom location. Here's another crib right on that transition mark. There's a ton of fish stacked up over it. That soft bottom transition is that right to the, I'm gonna zoom in on it right here. That soft bottom, that hard bottom, see all that rock and rubble? And then it goes back into this hard bottom area and between it, there's a bunch of cribs and a bunch of fish on top of it. So. I can vertical jig that, maybe a double jig approach, even just a single jig approach, but let's go back and see if we can find some open water fish, because I'd, I'd like to show you guys the drop shot technique, but if we're gonna be fishing cribs, drop shotting is not the best way to go about that. Let's just go back over this one more time here and see if we can get a school kind of out in the open. If I can find a school just kind of roaming on this transition area, I could probably throw a drop shot. And the reason you throw a drop shot is if these fish are lower in the water column, really close to the bottom, that drop shot technique works really well. And the drop shot's gonna be like five to six feet above your weight. So typically your bass fishing drop shots are only like a foot or two above your drop shot weight where you tie the hook. Crappie fishing, the drop shot has to be about five to six feet above the weight. But it looks like there's no fish in open water. It looks like I might just be fishing these deeper cribs right on that transition area. So we're probably gonna go with, uh, we'll just go with a single jig technique for right now. Yeah, looks like they're, most of them are just stacked up right tight to these cribs. I mean, they're, yeah, they're real stacked up. See that big group between these cribs? All those little marks between those two cribs there? That's a bunch of fish. So throw this in reverse here and we'll set up. I could throw a buoy marker out, but we got live scope, so I don't need it. But that's what I'm looking for, this hard to soft bottom transition area and finding any pieces of cover right on that area, right on that line, it's gonna hold fish. Oftentimes, as these temperatures get into the 40s, like water temps, these crappie are gonna start pushing out closer to the basin area, so they are gonna be more roaming, but these fish are pretty stacked up, so let's try to catch some. <clears throat> 
All right, well, since I don't think these fish, holy smokes, let me see if I can record that for you. I don't think these fish are suspended way out off these brush piles, so I'm actually gonna throw the double jig setup. And these are the Crappie Monster uppercuts. They're the creature bait styles. They're meant to mimic more insect larva. Let's see if we can record this screen for you. They, these things are loaded with crappie here. And if the bite gets tough, we're in a post front condition. I don't know if you, there's still storm clouds above us, um, but it's been raining for the past like 24 hours here. It's all right, we needed it. Um, sometimes a bite can get a little tough. So scent might need to be added. We'll see here. See if we can pick off a few. There's a fish. Did we get doubled up. Oh, we got top jig. We got top jig. We're only going, going four pound test, so I gotta be careful here. That's actually a decent, decent fish. Let's uh, throw him real quick. What are you? Oh wow. If you're a 10 incher, you're gonna come home. Anything around that 10 inch mark is gonna go in the frying pan. We'll see if we're having trouble. If we're having trouble with the bite, um, Andrew Norby, he's a fellow YouTuber. I met him down in, in Tennessee at the uh, Crappie Cove ACC Crappie Tournament on Watts Bar Lake, and he sent me this. He said, if you're ever having trouble with the bite, try this thump gel, and he catches some absolute hammers with this stuff down on Lake Gunnersville. But he said, typically you don't need it with plastics, or if you got live minnows, obviously, you got that scent. That scent factor on these post-front type of days that can be the key to putting a full limit of fish in your live well and only putting a few fish. So, so the bite does start to suffer. Let me put this on here. If Andrew Nobri says it's good, I trust him. Might try up it. Oh, there he is. Got him that time. Got him that time. Well, uh, he's a little guy. That guy's going back. See you, buddy. All right, since this bite is a little tough, we're gonna throw that. That sauce on both jigs. A little extra scent doesn't hurt. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. A little bit like that. Let's see that if that will help improve our catch rate here because our catch rate right now is not good considering how many fish are down there. There he is. It's a little bit better one. This might go in the lab well. When I say a little bit better, I mean nine inches. That's all that's in here. A couple tens so far, but most of them been these little nines. I think that's gonna be another one for the live well. Yeah, he's nine and a half. I should probably start showing them on the bump boards because I know some people are gonna say, oh, it's not a nine and a halfer. Yeah, they are. You can see what I mean by fish stacked on the bottom. If these, if there weren't cribs there, line got tangled. If there weren't cribs there, I definitely would go with a drop shot. The problem with a drop shot and cribs is odds are real good you're gonna get tangled up. And if I didn't have live scope, I'd probably just throw the buoy on and get my, my depth count correctly. Here comes a fish. My depth count meaning understand how, how fast these jigs fall down. Ooh, that's a better one. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Now they're coming in quick. Just need a little extra scent to help out, I guess. Now I'm gonna get the bump board out because I know you guys don't I think these are nine inch keepers. There's no size limit on the lake, but typically the best eaters are those nine inch fish. 
this guy actually is probably going to go 10 and a quarter. Oh my goodness, I'm getting good. He's a 10 and a half. Yeah. 10 and a half. Another 10 incher for the frying pan tonight. <clears throat> I was saying these, if these fish were out suspended in that hard soft bottom transition without any cribs or any piece of cover by them, 100% be throwing a drop shot. You can keep that bait, that specific two, three, four, five feet above the lake bottom. And that's, that's where all these, a lot of these fish are sitting. You know, there's some stacked above cribs, but a lot of them right under the boat right now. You can see those fish 10 feet out. They're three, four, five feet off the bottom like that. But yeah, double jig approach, deep water fishing. Again, if the cribs weren't here, I'd probably go drop shot set up. But go to crabbymonster.com, get yourself whatever you want, really. The net, some lures, 20% off. Sales are starting right now. Promo code DAVIS, that's capital D-A-V-I-S, all caps. 20% off the what, entire website. And then I'm pretty sure Andrew Norby was kind enough to give you guys a discount code for this thump gel. Um, if you want to try it out, I think that's only like three or four bucks retail and you can send, you can save, I think 10 or 20%. I can't remember what it is, but I'll post it right here in the video and I'll leave the link down below for you guys that want to check it out, save some money, don't pay full retail. The reels, flopping 18 on PC Fun's website. 18% off the reels. I'm just giving you guys discount codes. But use this technique, use your charts. Charts are free on uh, on your phone with Navionics. Uh, you can't do the shading on your on your free version with your phone, but you can definitely see the, the contour breakdowns of, of depths. Um, but if you got a screen, it doesn't really need to be Navionics, I guess, if you got a Humminbird or Lowrance or whatever use that color shading 18 to 22 to 23 feet that's where a lot of these crappie are going to be this time of year and as we get towards december they're going to push out a little bit deeper not much but just that that basin area appreciate you watching as always be sure to use the promo codes in the link link down in the description if you have any comments or questions post them in the comment section below or you can message me on either facebook or instagram i always appreciate hearing from you hopefully this little side imaging and chart tip helps you out this fall. Good luck on the water. We'll see you in the next one.